do not ask me about yesterday. It's Friday. I promise you that I am not continuing with my how to style jeans. Even though I'm wearing jeans today, I am doing the double denim thing. Let me know in the comments if you're a person who loves to wear denim on denim. I don't have an issue with it. I really don't. So many people just hate that look. I've worn it for years and I'll keep on doing so. Um, I think it may have something to do with the fact that I like the monochrome look and I sport that quite a lot, different colours. And I suppose I find it a lot more easier to wear denim on denim. But a lot of people are really frightened of that. So let me know if you are one of those people who is or one of those people who is not and you love wearing denim on denim look yes that's what I'm going for today so I'm wearing nothing that I have refashioned or designed so it's just denim on denim and whenever it comes to my denim pieces apart from one which is a, a video I did a few weeks ago which I refashioned a denim pair of jeans into a skirt so that has inspired me to think that I need to do a couple more denim pieces and there could be, you know, a project that's coming up soon. We just never know. Just saying. Anyway, just let me show you what I'm wearing today. So it is, this is a man's denim shirt, shirt and I'm wearing it with straight leg jeans and my platform shoes. So it's going to be a quick and easy video outfit of the day for today. So I'm going to be teaming it with this bag. This is a fabric bag. It has kind of like a denim kind of text, not texture, look to it. And for 2022, I do believe spring summer 2022, they are encouraging fashionistas to have denim accessories, including denim shoes. Now, mm, would I do that? Would I go from head to toe? Yeah, even denim hat. That's a look. Yeah, you never know. I do like to wear denim during the spring and summer anyway, so you will see me sporting a lot of denim wear and showing you how I put them together and style them. So let's bring you down to the bottom half of me so you can see these are my platforms. I'm going to carry my bag like this because it's a bit too bulky to, cut, to carry it across the body. I just love the combination of strap and colour that matches with the bag really well. So that's my outfit for today. Black for spring and summer in England. Why not? It's cold. The sun is shining, it's a bit deceiving, it's cold, so I haven't quite put away my cardigans and my jumpers, and I've put quite a few of them away, but I still keep them one or two hanging because the weather doesn't make its mind what, what to do from one day to another. So I'm wearing a black cardigan that I have slightly refashioned, it was a little bit oversized. I didn't like the fact it was a bit boxy, so I just put some thread studs on. So this is the original button. And the button hole is there, it's hidden. So I've decided that I'm going to wear it as a crossover, like so, which I'm much more happier with, and it fits my body. And yeah, and I lengthen the sleeves. Let me just give you a little twirl. And the skirt that I'm pairing it with is from the CGL collection. Um, I made this was it last year. It was quite a long project. <laughs> it took me quite a few months to get this completed, along with the matching, but well, not quite matching top. The only reason why it matches with the top, and why I'm saying that, is because of the braiding, and I made them both at the same time, so that they can wear worn together but it in that's linen and the weather is not quite asking for linen um, just yet so I'm sticking with my wool wool <laughs> so I'll bring it down so you can see the bottom half of me 
I am going to be pairing it with. What handbag should I go for? Hmm. I don't know. I don't want. I don't necessarily want a cross body because I want my pockets to be shown. So I'll probably go for the velvet one. But let me just bring it down so you can have a look at my footwear, which are pointy shoes, ankle strap, kitten heel. Cute actually. So, you know, I'm, I'm allowing myself to think, yes, summer's just around the corner, or spring will be bringing in a bit more um, warmth into England. So, yes. Um, oh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I'll show you the bottom half of me. So, these are my pockets, my transparent pockets that I love. And this braiding that goes, this trim that goes all the way around the pockets. And around the waist area, and also at the hemline with a front vent. And these are the pointy shoes, kitten heel, and ankle strap. And then, like I said, I'm going to be pairing it with my black bag, which is going to be the Clutch, yeah, definitely a clutch today. I think yes, yes, it's a clutch. I think it's only some on my neck. Just to finish it off. I know I do have a choker on. I'm going to go for. What should I go for? Yeah, I'm going to add an pendant. Yes, I'm going to add this. For those of you that know what it originally was, so I'm going to add this. I've had the moment to so show because it is a bit too long. I want it to sit a little bit higher on my body. So I'm, just, I'm just basically just making tying it like that. Tuck that inside. So it's versatile. Oh, yes. Now that's better. Yeah. Let me just have a quick look in the mirror. Oh, yes. Yes, I do think so. That's, yeah, it's cute. That is cute. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Cheely. Hello, fashion sewers, how are you? So, my outfits of the week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday outfits of the week is to inspire you and show you how I would team my refashion projects in with along with my garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn, and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in order for you to refashion any garments because you as you um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project. You can always click on those videos, it will teach you in depth about certain technique that I will be um, using in a project. I can't really do that in my projects because my videos will be very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments. So going back to my outfits for Friday I hope they are inspiring you and um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take up too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna hold back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah uh, I hope you enjoy it it has taken me a while to get used to this dress I tell you the reason why it's because I'm not used to a very fitted dress that's one reason the second reason is it's got these fins, I was calling them wings at one time, at the sides. I'm just giving you a little twirl. Oh, by the way, it is um, Wednesday today and this is where I, I do my video tutorial. And this is the tutorial. This dress. 
So it's, it was a big dress. So um, I decided I'm going to not have any waste in this project. So I made the dress fit me. But in order for it to, in order for me to not have any waste, I had to have fins. And I'm loving it. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's, it's something I have already got in my wardrobe. I can experiment with this kind of style again. And I was playing around with it for a few days because I had slits on both sides for a few hours. And then I decided to sew down one slit so that I only had one open. And then it's like, oh, it's just not quite getting there. So and then I decided um, to sew them both down. <laughs> so now the dress is sewn from underarm right down to the hemline, and I am loving it. It's it's so different. It's, it isn't me, but it is now. <laughs> and I'm having such fun. I really am sort of having such fun wearing this dress. I don't think I've ever come across a new fashion project where I've. Um, I've experimented with it over a couple of days, to, you know, because I wanted to make sure I get it right, I want to make sure that I do wear it time and time again. Um, but I just love it. It just looks as though it's it's extra fabric at the sides, but it's not, it's more than that. Anyway, let me finish dressing. So I will put a link to the tutorial for this um, dress in the description, so please do check that out. And let me see, let me show you how I'm going to finish this off, because you know, one has to, even though the sun's out, but it's it's, it's not giving the heat. <laughs> it needs to warm up it a bit more. Um, so I will be wearing a jacket. So this is a man's jacket that I'm going to be wearing as a cape. Let me show you my jewellery. So this um, is actually two necklaces. So let me just show you, there's the other one. <laughs> this one's added onto that one. And it's only because I do like wearing it on its own as well. Um, I think I bought it in a flea, flea market oh, many years ago. And yeah, I was looking at my earrings, but no, it's too heavy. Um, but no, that looks gorgeous with this gorgeous dress. And then I'm going to have some sunglasses. Because one has to, and it's on telling the sun it needs to come out and shine and give some heat. I mean, it is out, just needs to give more heat because it's too windy and cool. And then I'm going to finish it off with which bag? Oh, I've got this one. I'm going to finish it off with this brown bag. So I'll bring you down so you can see the rest of me. Do not ask me about yesterday. It's Friday today. Oh, oh, I wasn't really dressed in the right attire if, in order to me to do this video tutorial. <laughs> I had car issues all day, believe it or not. Literally all day. I left the house at 8.30, didn't get home until almost quarter to five. Anyway. <laughs> I'm here, it's Friday, um, it's the weekend, yay! And this is going to be the last day that I'm, no not last day, the last time I'm going to be wearing this gorgeous refashion. It used to be a pair of trousers these, for those of you who don't know. And because it's getting warmer, um, but we didn't hit, well, we're still in April aren't we? We've still got a week to go. Um, so yeah, I don't think the heat wave is going to be coming anytime soon before the end of the month. So I'll just continue with um, putting away some of my knitwear but not for. But about my outfit, for those of you who haven't seen it before, I'm styling it a bit differently because that's what you've got to do in order to keep interested in what you're wearing, don't you? You have to style it slightly differently. I know I will be um, wearing this again, obviously. And I'll be standing in many ways but at the moment I'm wearing the same pair of pants I think really goes well with this and almost makes it into a suit really but 
enough. I will continue with telling you about what I'm wearing. So I've got dangly earrings on. What other jewelry am I going to be putting on? I'm going to be putting on um, this bangle. Brand, yeah, and doing a monochrome look. I know, it's me. What can I say? And <laughs> sunglasses. Yes, brown. Different colours of brown. Getting prepared for this for the heat wave. And then I'm going to be sporting this cute little bag that just goes so well with what I'm wearing. Um, last time, I do believe when I wore this, I didn't have the shoulder strap. So I'm having this shoulder, shoulder strap on this time. But you have to be careful when you are sporting a, a small bag and you've got a shoulder strap, you know, the crossbody, because it will be a crossbody at some point. Um, but I still want to find different ways of how I can carry the bag. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be holding it mostly by the handle. And then so I don't have any accidents because it can happen and then twist this and then place it like so and it becomes this because it looks cute it looks cute carrying it in my hand rather than crossbody not rather than crossbody it's because I've got this detail on my jacket that I just want to show off and this doesn't really do it that much justice. So yes, so let me show you the bottom half of me. And yeah, now I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.